showtime. I've seen you before. You're the asshole on TV. To the A Show, I'm Mason. Uh, standing in for Aaron today uh, is our reporter from the far north, Chantel, and uh, of course the Enigma, Buddha. Hello. Uh, we're coming to you kind of live from the Whittlesey Show. Uh, VSM and W is going down as we speak. Uh, we'll cut across to some action during the show to see how everyone's getting on. Have a look at those camels over there, man. <laughs> is that Ducey? Is that Ran on a camel? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Ryan and Cameron. <laughs> well, we have a huge show today. We are talking in detail about the quali- remaining qualifiers and we'll be inviting some of the promoters as special guests. We've got some good... Good <laughs> 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 <Can> stuff. <start. laughs> He's showing willingness. Uh, yeah, we've got some uh, news for anyone who holds an Arnold Strongman Australia membership. Uh, basically, uh, we've rounded up some free stuff and uh, useful discounts to add to your comp coverage and membership. So basically, yeah, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about a new last chance qualifier, a way for anyone in Oz and New Zealand to still pick up a spot at the big show if you can't make any of the other competition-based qualifiers. Very interesting. Very. Yeah. And as promised, this is probably the bit that everyone's hanging out for, we are going to talk Arnold's 2020 events. Uh, now, just to make sure you all watch the whole show, uh, We've painstakingly put it together. Look, we've got mics, everyone. Yeah. Mics and backgrounds. Look, we've spec'd up. Yeah, so basically, uh, we're going to space them out through the whole show, so you can't just cut to the very end and <laughs> skip the rest of it. <laughs> we need views. Now, as always, though, uh, here's a quick word from our sponsored product of the week. Do you have trouble picking up even the smallest stone? Today's show is brought to you by Grippity Bippity. Accessory company Sticky Fingers has put together this unique blend of tacky to make sure you never miss a stone off the floor. How's it going over there, Buddha? <coughs> Grippity Bippity, guaranteed to not slippity drippity. Bippity boppity. Ah, oh, big voice. <laughs> All right, last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, calm down, Chantel. <laughs> You're a guest here. <laughs> All right. Last week we covered events at. Well, right now is happening is Victoria's strongest man and woman. Then we have the uh, Capital Strongman Qualifier in the ACT on the 9th of November. Steel and Stone and Tassie on the 23rd of November. And today we're going to jump right into the second New South Wales. Uh, qualifier, a first timer in the uh, to the gang, and uh, Battle of the Gods at Adonis Penrith, held on the weekend of the 30th of November. Hi guys, Sean from Adonis Athletics Penrith here. Just want to tell you about the uh, upcoming Arnold's qualifying event, Battle of the Gods 2. This will be run across November 30th and December 1st, with 60 athletes competing across the two days. Uh, open men 105s and open women on the Saturday, and all of our under categories on the Sunday. Our five events are the frame carry deadlift, an overhead medley, weight over bar, Hercules hold, and stone for reps. And what I'm really excited to tell you is that we're going to be using the Eric from Mason at Stannis Submit and Ram, Team Deuce Bag, for the Viking Press component of the overhead medley.
radioactive, mate. Quick test. Yep, test it. For a while. Give it a minute. Is that looking good, mate? There. Give us a minute. We've got 30 seconds left. We can tell it's prime and then we'll get the uh, put a Godfrey tick of approval. Mate. It's absolute prime, we've got about 10% moisture in it. Compaction rate is about 101%, so it's perfect. Nice layer of topsoil there, about 150 mil, and we'll just go from there. Anyway, thanks for coming in to the uh, Buddha Godfrey Dirt Show. Ooh, okay, event one. Hushed silence. <laughs> There's no one actually here. <laughs> All right, it's, event one. It's uh, Vic's strongest man, mate. Everyone's yeah. here. Everyone's Animals here. Alright, so although it's the Arnold six year in operation in Australia, it's Stan or Submit's fifth anniversary supplying the equipment for the show. Uh, so we're taking things up about three notches this year, I'd say. Um, all the gear will be styled in a particular theme and we're nicknaming the whole comp area the steelworks. So uh, when you get there and when you see it, uh, you, you'll understand. Um, we're not going to release the pro events today uh, or the lineup we've been working on, but let's just say we're putting together something uh, that will make the Americans' little wooden toys seem a bit uh, underwhelming, we'll say. All right, event number one will be a 10-metre yoke carry straight into a 10-metre arm-over-arm sled drag. Just let that sink in. Now, this one, we're going to call this our semi-mystery event. Uh, half the world thinks that yokes are either getting too heavy and they're dangerous, or when they're too light, uh, they're a waste of time. So we're bringing you something a little bit new. Yes, you'll find out how it's different well in advance. Uh, no, it's not a chain yoke, so don't freak out. Uh, will you be able to train for it identically on gym equipment? Probably not, uh, but that's strong, man. <laughs> that one was for you, Ron. Uh, <laughs> sled drag, once again, not your average power pull uh, on a turf track. This is Arnold's. We're going all out with it. South Australian Arnold's qualifier on the 8th of December. King Carl is uh, running his uh, competition in the Midwest. Unfortunately, he can't join us today because he is in Florida, probably on some beach after his great world's performance. So with these events, we've got the deadly deadlifts, whatever that is, Mason. Yeah, right. So to my knowledge, it's uh, you're deadlifting for points. Uh, there's three different weights and you score more points for choosing the heavier weight, I think. No worries. Then we have the uh, log dumbbell alternating max reps. Then we have the frame slash yoke carry there. We also have a stone series and a carry for distance. So I definitely recommend you just hit Carl's DMs. to do Yeah, the just about slide on into right. Carl's DMs, get a yeah. bit more info. Yeah. Uh, it's relatively late in the piece. It's the 8th of December. So you've still definitely got time to get up to Adelaide. I've heard it's a really exciting city. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're there to qualify, you're there to compete, so I'd head up to that one, um, get after it. <laughs> I'm All right, Arnold's event two. Event number two is the overhead choose your destiny. Now this one's pretty cool, I like this. Uh, it's a pressing medley, there's four implements, the log, the monster dumbbell, the barbell, and the safe or yoke press. It's the fastest time to complete all four implements, uh, the person that does that scores the maximum points. Uh, 
Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, it's rough out here at Whittlesea. Jesus. Yeah. Um, bees and everything are dying. Be right. having a field day. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Uh, splits will be taken on each successful lift. There's 75 seconds uh, for the time cap. Here is the tricky part, though. There is no set order on how you approach the implements. You can pick your hardest implement uh, for when you're fresh, or you can do your best implement first and lock that in early and then work through it and then tackle something challenging at the end. Be warned, though, once you touch an implement, you have to successfully lift it before you can go and start another one. So you can't uh, give it a try and then go, okay, this is not for me. So you can't hit it and quit it? You can't hit it and quit it. you gotta, you got to finish it off. Uh, it's strategy meets strength, uh, but I'm fairly certain that the strongest overhead presser will win this regardless. What do you think? Yeah, that won't be me. No, <laughs> that's not what I was after. <laughs> Sound like fun though. What are you going to start on? Um, what's the safe? Uh, so it's basically a, a small yoke. A small yoke? Yeah. Like how small? Like no, no. So a light enough yoke. It's not, uh, it's not a 135 okay. kilo yoke, yeah. but it's basically a yoke press. So you don't have to clean the implement. You have to take it from the floor. But then the press is very challenging because um, it swings like a pendulum. Mm -hmm. Anyone that did the contest... Uh, and got the lucky dip of the yoke press, uh, they'll let you know. So in recap, event number two at Arnold's is the overhead Choose Your Destiny. Four implements in a medley Choose Your Own Adventure. All right, in 2019, the strongman Mecca of the North is holding the Queensland Qualifier. It's Beast of Burden at Coco's Gym on the 15th of December. So we've got the real brains of the operation up in Queensland joining us today, Ariel. Um, when was the last time that I saw you? I think it was ASA Nationals when you were competing. Oh, damn, it was. I was thinking it was Melbourne when we were at the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> it's like Fight Club, you don't talk about it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Um, How are you going? I'm good. Uh, we were hoping you could run us through the events for your qualifier. Yeah, so our qualifier is on the 15th of December, so it's a late one in the year. Um, we have some pretty cool events, I think. I don't know if I'd want to do them myself, but they're pretty fun. Um, we have a farmer's carry, which will be over 40 metres. So there will be a drop at the 20 metre mark, turn around, go back 20 metres. Um, we also, of course, have a log press MRAP. We couldn't really hold a comp without log press. Um, for that one, the men will be on 12 inch, a 12 inch log. The women will be on a 10 inch log. We also have a deadlift medley, um, which will go conventional barbell, axle barbell, and trap bar. You'll finish off with an air wrap on the trap bar, most reps winning. Um, we also have a carry and load medley, um, so that will be a sandbag and two cakes. Then we finish off with a seven stone series. Wow. They natural stones or atlas stones? Atlas stones. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> Always. <laughs> All right. That, that was awesome. What do we have to do now? <laughs> <laughs> Head back to the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ariel. Thank you, Ariel. <laughs> Arnold's event three, Axel deadlift for reps. No funny business here. <laughs> Set weights, nine inch pulling height and giant wheels. As many reps as possible in 60 seconds. No suits, no straps. Oh, fuck. <laughs> is, is, something is, that, is that a bit of an issue? Yeah. Is that an issue? Do, do, strap, do straps. No, you can have straps, just no figure of eights. Yeah, no figure of eights. Sorry. No figure of eights. Um, and 
<laughs> no <laughs> straps. Uh, just, just wait until you see what you'll be deadlifting. Sounds interesting. Yeah, we're building something pretty uh, kooky for it. But standard height, axle for reps. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Scrolling. All right, so we mentioned earlier we would talk about some changes to your Arnold membership. Don't freak out. The price isn't going up. Uh, this is something that uh, anyone that competes in an Arnold's qualifier or at the big show itself must already have. Uh, here's the thing about Strongman at Arnold's, right? Uh, we take up a huge amount of space at Jeff Shed, and uh, by the time you've added fencing, two grandstands, uh, the giant TV, it's not a cheap exercise. So this membership sort of helps to cover some of that, I suppose. Um, but Aaron and I have been pushing uh, to get a bit more value for you guys, uh, the members. So going forward, your membership will include a free day pass to the Arnolds. Um, if you end up competing, you can actually give that day pass to somebody else because um, you'll get one as a competitor anyway. Uh, you'll get a discount on a three-day pass uh, if somebody else is wanting to come for the whole time or you do. Uh, stand or submit are throwing 5% off uh, equipment orders uh, if you've got, got your membership number or whatever it is. Uh, and the Arnolds will give you a little bit of merch too. So can't confirm exactly what that is, but probably on the day um, or post it out earlier, you'll get you know, a hat or a T-shirt or something, what something you can wear. All right, so quick maths with Buddha. Let's uh, let's just break this down a bit. So, your membership is a hundred dollars. Yeah. So, what's a day pass cost of the show? I think it's about twenty five bucks. Yep. Yeah. So you're already twenty five bucks up on that. Okay. Now let's say you're looking at grabbing some gear from Stand or Submit during the year to train with. You know, maybe it's a yoke uh, to train for the first event. Ooh. What's five percent off of eleven fifty, buddy? Uh, beep boop boop. It's about seven dollars <laughs> and fifty cents. Quick math, right there. <laughs> You've covered three quarters of your membership already with your ticket and your discount. Throwing a hat or a t-shirt um, at the door, you're already in the clear. So we're going to try and keep adding to this, but basically keep an eye out for how you'll get your discount and how you get your ticket and so on. But basically, a bit of extra value for Arnold's members. So Arnold's event four, Farmer's Brutality. Grip has to be tested at Arnold's. There was the frame last year combined with the yoke. This year, the farmer's handles are back. It's a long course. You will travel one way. Ideally, 20 metres, depending on arena spacing. Simple, right? But here's the catch. As soon as one or both our handles are put on down, your run is done. And it's going to be heavy. Yeah, I like that. So, um... A lot of the reasoning behind that is um, we're all a bit tired of seeing uh, who can sprint nine metres as fast as possible with the farmer's handles. So uh, they're going to be really heavy. You get to set yourself up, one pick, and then you either finish it or if you put them down, your run's done. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I call you Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> hey, Johnny. <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks, all right. Johnny. <laughs> Shit. All right, we mentioned last week uh, we had something a little different for the last chance qualifier uh, this year. Traditionally, people have treated the Tamworth comp as the last chance. Well, it ain't on this year. Uh, and nor is Northeast strongest. So uh, credit here to the guy that runs that comp, Ran. Uh, He's out there trying to regain his Vic's strongest title at the moment. Uh, he suggested we run an online style last chance in its place. So the idea is we want the best in the country to battle it out for the remaining spots at Arnold's after all of the other actual qualifiers have been completed. Um, rather than just who can get themselves to central New South Wales at the last chance. We won't release the events today. We've already done enough of that with the Arnold's ones. Um, but here's how the format's going to work. There's five standardised events which will be completed at a registered gym. So basically that's a gym that uh, has standardised equipment, so it's all fair, and uh, they've been run through a judging uh, course or whatever, so that it's basically like a competition, but it'll be done in different locations. So it's like uh, Arnold certified, you could say. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And then would you try and make it just every state has one, essentially? Ideally, or? yeah. So Ideally, we've And obviously with states of more gyms... 
you know. Basically, we want as many as possible, yeah. so as many different people can find a location to exactly. try out. Yeah. So we've got confirmed gyms in Vic, New South Wales, Queensland, and New Zealand at the moment, uh, and we're hoping before we kick this off to uh, expand into uh, Western Australia, South Australia, Tassie, ideally, and yeah. possibly... Will we see you in the NT? <laughs> you, you may see <laughs> us in the NT as well. I wonder what that um, spells. We'll leave like that maps. one with you, buddy. <laughs> um, so further to that, it's five events. Uh, you'll have three hours to complete the five events and register scores. Uh, you'll weigh in within 24 hours, just the same as a normal competition. Um, the gym will lodge your scores with us for you. Uh, you can have multiple attempts at all five events on different days. Um, basically, if you feel like you had a shocker on the first one, you can come back and have another bash at it. But we won't be releasing placings until it's all over. So what we're trying to avoid there is, you know, you put your scores in and someone's going to sit back and wait to see what everybody got and then come in and try and beat it. Anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So um, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good way to get as many people in involved as possible? I or? think it's also good for people who um, you don't see really at comps as much because, you know, there's always a, the randoms that are really strong Yep. and um, you, you never see them. Mm, and a lot of it, well, for people is they have to travel either interstate or to the city where the comp is. So sure, if they've, if they've missed out something. at the one in their state. Exactly, yeah. especially <laughs> with Nice Mall not running or, or even Tamworth as well. That that cuts down what two events already yep. there, two chances. So yeah, try and give everyone the biggest chance that they can get. That's the plan. So there'll be lots more details come out. It's going to run after all the other physical qualifiers are finished. The events will come out earlier than that, so you can start training for them uh, in the background, I suppose. Yep. But then basically registrations will open, and you can start um, approaching these gyms after all the qualifiers are finished, and that will finish up still with at least around eight weeks before. Arnold's so that if you do qualify you've got some time to actually train for Arnold's as well yep. so last chance qualifier new thing for 2020 I guess it do will be do we have a date for that yet or is that all let us going confirm to... that yeah. um, would I'd say roughly January it's going to be late it's yeah. going to be late January yep. it'll kick off to basically sometime in early Feb no worries All right, so Arnold's event five is max distance duck walk. So with the final event, with them being a max distance duck walk, athletes will have to carry a duck walk, duck walk <laughs> implement as far as they can with no put downs allowed. To make things a little bit trickier, they're actually going to do it backwards just to really hit the quads. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on, Buddha. <laughs> I think you've had too many parts of that banana over there, buddy. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, give me that. All give right, all right. I'll just have more banana, all right? Quick duck walk joke in there. You've got to have one in there. Event five is actually almost the same as Australia's Strongest Man and Woman. It's a Max Stone event. So, um, yeah, we weren't going to do it. We're actually thinking of doing a loading medley, but, you know, Stone's got the better of us. We'll bring them all down. Max Stone event. Let's get stoned. Let's get stoned. So, pretty much the way it works, if you haven't seen uh, ASM or ASW coming up next weekend, um, you're going to get three attempts uh, to max out your stone. You can get two solid attempts within that minute um, to do so. Uh, we'll be working in 10 kilogram jumps. Unfortunately, we can't bring stones in 1.25 kilo increments that'll turn into about 400 stones out on the floor. So 10 kilo jumps. Um, like yeah, basically. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Johnny. We're at our. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're at Johnny, the <laughs> we're at the Whittlesea show. Okay. okay. There's no stones sorry. around here. Okay. Uh, so. The, the cool thing here is you'll get to max out, but credit will be given for the fastest loader of the stone. So let's say uh, seven people all load a 100 kilo stone rather than sharing points between all seven. Uh, the athlete that completes the stone the fastest within their minute will get the most points and then work down from there. So it's a good way to split the scores. Uh, hopefully we'll see some big, uh, big lifts, big records set across all of the, uh, the weight categories. Uh, the pros might be doing that event as well, so hopefully some good stone loaders are coming down to Arnold's. I'll have a hint, talk to hint. Luke. Have a talk to Luke. Yeah. So event five is Max Stone. Three attempts should be good. Yeah. What are you doing, mate? Just chill out. Wait for a mate. I tell you what, guys, stick around. Oh. <laughs>
Fuck is actually happening. There's gonna be no audio, is it? <laughs> Just cry. <laughs> 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 Do a bit of 